My, my group is implica implicated in uh, developing tools to improve the way anti-cancer agents are given. Not, not necessarily discovering new targets or discovering new drugs, but we just want to make the existing treatment work better. And uh, to achieve this, uh, we develop uh, PKPD models, we develop therapeutic drug monitoring strategies, uh, we develop uh, pharmacokinetics based guided dosing and we try to sometimes change the dosing or change the scheduling or the sequencing of, uh, of the administration to either improve the efficacy or to reduce the toxicity. And in this very project, uh, we were working on the Herbitux, uh, well, well, Cetuximab, I mean, in head and neck cancer patients. And uh, Cetuximab is uh, it's, it's a blockbuster, it's a, it's, a, it's a nice drug, it's a good drug, there's been a, a, a new improvement in the, in the, you know, in the way we, we treat uh, head and neck cancer patients. And it's a bio-guided therapy. I mean, before giving Cetuximab to the patients, there is uh, an extensive uh, pharmacogenomic testing to determine the Kira status of the patient and the NRA status of the patient and the expression of the target and so on and so on, which is great because it's part of the precision medicine. Still, even if you do this, about half of the patients will not respond to cetuximab, despite the fact that downstream the tumor is right, the target is here, the synergic pathway is not mutated, everything should be working and, and, and in 50% of the patients, it doesn't work. So the hypothesis was that sometimes it doesn't work just because the drug is not there, just because the, the drug exposure is, is not sufficient enough to trigger some kind of response. And this is all what pharmacokinetics is about, actually, is to control the exposure levels. And, and if the exposure level is, is not adequate, is to propose strategies, you know, or tools to custom the dosing.